Simply put, encapsulation is capturing related functionality under the same umbrella. Because everything related is then encapsulated in the same place, it makes code easier to develop and maintain both for you and anyone else who's looking at it. One way that you could do this is grouping together related functions as methods of a class. So let's get a feel for what that might look like in practice. Here, I've got a bunch of different functions and then I'm calling them all in sequence. But if you take a look, you might notice that two of them relate to interacting with a database and two of them relate to some kind of pre-processing the data. So what I'd like to do is encapsulate the related functionality under the same block of code or file. In this case, I'm gonna put them both under a class. So to do that, I would define a class, I'm gonna call this one database, and then I'd put all of those related functionality under this class. And then I could also create another class which I've put these methods under. So I need to change a few things still here. And then down here in the implementation, I would firstly create a preprocessor. And then I could use both of those different objects down here. And this makes it so much clearer what relates to what. So just scanning over the code, you can look at the outermost level of indentation, you can see, okay, there's two, th two main things in this code. There's a database and a preprocessor. I can see that the database is being used to get the data and eventually it's been used to insert the data. And then I can use this, see this preprocessor is being used to remove duplicate data and remove rows with missing data. So you can see that these two different bits of functionality, they are related because they're both attached to that class and the same for the other class there. So it makes it much more structured and obvious how things are tied together. It makes it easy to understand where I might find something. If I know there's a preprocessor class and I'm looking for some function which does some preprocessing, it's probably in that class. Another way that you can encapsulate things together is by putting them within the same file. This is especially useful if your file is getting too big such that it's getting confusing. Um, or it can be useful in the case where the functions don't depend on any internal state. So in my case, these Preprocessing functions, they don't actually depend on any particular internal state that could be captured as an attribute of the class. So maybe instead of putting them in a class, I could have just moved these into a different file. And then imported this file into my main file over here. And then again, I could have achieved the same effect. So there you can see a combined use case of encapsulation within one file, which is then imported. And again, they've both got that module name to indicate that these two methods relate to the same thing, the preprocessing. And then we've got the database functionality encapsulated all within one class. With the files, you could even encapsulate variables, functions, and classes all together under the same file. To take things further, I could even put this class in its own file. And if I had related classes which weren't together, then I could encapsulate them both in the same file too. So at the end of the day, there are many ways to implement the same functionality, but your code 
might be small enough that it's already really easy to understand what's going on and breaking things up might just confuse things. So overall, you can pretty much always just follow the heuristic of doing whatever makes your code easier to read and easier to use. So in my case, the file's so small, it might have just been easier to leave it how I started. But you might find that looking at what makes it easy to understand and use is a combination of encapsulating related things under classes or within files as well. It really depends on your style as well. So just be consistent as the number one rule.